and ladies, we are live. Hey guys. Hey. Shal and Margie. And Emery. And Harry. <laughs> We're all a little hyper because oh you guys, our TikTok is going somewhat viral and it's really it exciting. Is. So if you don't follow us on TikTok, go follow us. We did a super cool behind the scenes of how an order gets picked and checked and packed, packed and, and shipped. shipped. <laughs> so, and it's to the office theme music, which y'all know is. I love the office. I had to put a piece of Marge in the video. Yeah. So, yes, it's really exciting and we are just loving every minute of it. So, you guys we should are. go check out all the nice comments that people are putting about my craft source on TikTok is really kind of like blowing me away. Yeah. Um, and so, we have gained somewhat of a following over there. And so, if you're not on TikTok, um, I hate to tell you we are missing out. I I'm only on TikTok to follow my craft, craft source because yes. I don't understand it, but yes. <laughs> I love the crafting videos. So if we can encourage you at all, we say download TikTok just for my craft source if you're not on TikTok. Mm -hmm. And who knows, like we feel like we should probably feature a picking and packing and shipping off of someone's order special yes. every week and so, once a week yeah and then it might be yours so maybe um if you are on tiktok and you place an order put your tiktok handle is that yes. what it's called on your customer notes and maybe it'll be featured on our tiktok who knows we're still trying to figure it out because it just like was crazy yes i think that it would be super cool i think that's a great point mm -hmm. so if i think we should just start doing it yeah i say that we just tell people right here Y'all are the first forward. to know. We haven't even approved it with the uppers. <laughs> Hope you're okay with that. <laughs> Put your TikTok handle in the comments of your order. Mm -hmm. And we will randomly select someone once a week to show us picking, packing, shipping off your order on TikTok. And we'll tag you. We'll tag you. And maybe you'll get in something a little... A little surprise. Maybe. In your order. Who knows? You don't know. So, anyways, that's super exciting. I know. So enough about TikTok. I know. So we have a super fun craft. We have today. a fun craft. Something that we have never done. Yeah. I've never even done it in real life before. Oh, this is your first time this doing it? This is my first time doing it. I wanted to do a sample, but I'm like, nope, we're going to do it on live for yes. real so you guys can troubleshoot with us and see if we mess up or if it's amazing. <laughs> so I've actually done it before, but I was doing it improperly. Apparently, there is actually a very strategic step to doing this correctly. Yes. And so Margie and I, Margie did some research, yes. and we are going to do this step by step how you should do it, and uh -huh. hopefully nothing messes up. So, Caesar brick, and we don't even have sheets of it. We were like so, oh, you're so crazed TikTok with TikTok. Crazy. But brick is a three-dimensional um, HTV. So, it's kind of, or two-dimensional. I don't know why I yes. three-dimensional. It'll come out. Yes. You it's like it if you have 3D glasses on. Yeah. It's like faux leather. Yes. Kind of. It kind of is. So, when we cut our brick, the settings were off. So it cut all the way through. And instead of wasting our brick sheet, I put a TTD mask on the top, Yep. pulled it off my cutting mat, and then put another TTD mask on the bottom. Yes. And then um, we can weed off of this And now one. it's safe. And now it's safe. We don't have to throw it away. So if you have those mess ups, which we all do sometimes, sometimes our blade just gets wonky and it cuts all the way through, this is a good way to do it. Just, yes. you know, if you don't have TTD mask, save those carrier sheets like I talk about and do that. Do we have anyone commenting? Now? <laughs> yes, we do. We're right. like going a million miles a minute. <laughs> Elizabeth says hello. Hi. Kelsey says she saw it all. Aww. Jessica says she saw it, loved it, and loved you guys. Aww. Thanks. The TikTok? Yes. Y'all, there was a funny one from Friday, too, that if you haven't seen that one, it's really cool. Y'all, this makes me so excited, though. Our customers Aww. are seeing us all over We're TikTok. So I Kathleen love Kathleen says hello. Hi. Dawn says she wants her order followed. Yes. All right, Dawn. Pussy <laughs> says hello. Lozzy says I love my job. Tiana says hello, ladies. And Melissa says hello. Hey, Tiana Hi, and Melissa. Leslie, we're glad you like your job. Get yes, those orders shipped. <laughs> that is so funny. Go ship those orders. I know. So with the brick, so what we're doing is we're going to do like an embossing. And embossing is when it just kind of stands out. And so you use the brick and you could always also use the strip block. Um, it said yep. that the brick is thicker and mm -hmm. so it gives it a little bit more dimension and works better. Yes. So the product that you want to use when you emboss your brick or your strip block is stretch. So I'm weeding our Caesar Easy Weed Stretch. And stretch is made to stretch. And mm -hmm. it goes on 
stretchy garments if you want it to stretch over something like another type or of vinyl. if you like a really tight shirt to yes. enhance your chest. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I can't believe you just went there. I know. Okay, so. But no, it's good if you some women like fitted yes. shirts and regular vinyl is going to pucker yes. and not look good. So you'll so want to do stretch. Yes, so stretch is just made to stretch with the garment and kind of form with the garment. So um, this is what I'm weeding. It is our navy stretch. And so, something else fun about stretch is that it's all matte. It's all matte finish. So the carrier sheet for the um, brick, how's that called? <laughs> block. Block. For the brick is a static clean one. So it does not work well for really fine details, guys. So you don't want to do that. You just want to do. Um, yeah, no like, intricate stuff, yeah, guys. Big things like this. So what we're going to do is we are going to press this on the shirt. You can go overhead, probably. So again, we have our carrier sheet, our TTD mask, because I cut all the way through when I cut it. So this is just holding it in place so we can get it on the shirt. We are using our yellow Bella Canvas shirt. Yes, we are. Um, and we've already pre-pressed it. Yes, we have. So we're going to put this on here. How's that look? That looks pretty good. We're going to press. With brick, you press it at 310, 311. Mm -hmm. We are going to press it. Is that even? It looks crooked. It is okay. this way a little bit. Yeah. You press it for about four seconds on the front. And then this was something I learned that you flip it over and press it on the back, which we don't usually recommend for vinyl because it'll there overheat it. So we're going to press it on the front for four seconds, flip it over, press it on the back, yeah. let it cool, and then pull off our carrier sheets. And then we will... Um, I'm just curious, since we have two carrier sheets, if we should do eight seconds, I just to make sure. I think we might need to do a little bit um, longer yeah. on the front. Yes. So we're just doing a monogram MCS, my craft source. We thought this would be a fun way to do it on the for the live, and we'll put it on display in our store. Yes. Um, and so this, um, the stretch circle is actually going to go over the top of mm -hmm. the brick. And it creates an embossment because brick has depth. Um, and so that is, <laughs> you didn't want it cool. I know. Well, we got it. So we're flipping it over and pressing it on the back. Yes. And this was per. Did you have it set for four seconds or eight seconds? Uh -huh. I did oh, eight. Okay. Oh, okay. Seemed like really long for some reason. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. So um, you put this over your brick and then the brick embosses through the stretch and you're gonna like margie said you're pressing on the front and the back to make sure that it bonds really well so brick is a cool peel yes. so we gotta let it cool before we peel it yep it's really hot and it is hot and then i'm gonna turn up our heat press remember stretch presses at 320. 320. do we have some questions while this cools we have a couple comments elizabeth says that we are so enjoyable to watch oh, Blanca oh. said she just saw y'all on tiktok today and she is so excited to have follow oh thanks, cheryl Blanca. says i ordered on friday and got my order today thanks for the quick shipping Love that. Wow. Lucy says my StarCraft decal is coming off my Yeti bottle. Okay, so we could troubleshoot with you on that. Yeah. So did you uh, did you pre-clean your surface? That's always the number one question we ask. Mm -hmm. The number two question is, did you apply your StarCraft HD and let it cure for at least 24 hours before, before you wash or use it or mm -hmm. try to pick it off because it will definitely come right off. Yes. Um, so... The thing about adhesive vinyl and it being permanent is the fact that it actually becomes more permanent over time mm -hmm. and people think that as soon as they put it on it shouldn't come off and that's actually not how that works. So um, just let us know if you did those two things or maybe you right. didn't do one of those. So our, we've got to peel off the top. Yes we do. Because it cut, you know, we cut all the way through. So this is kind of an extra step that hopefully you guys don't have to do. Nah. But this is just our carrier sheet yeah. that we're just using. I'm using the Caesar Weeder, which is a great weeding tool. We talk about the pin pin a lot, but I love the Caesar Weeder. It's got a good hook on it and it just can grab things 
sometimes better than um, the pen pen. It gives you a little more control. Yeah, and it's more sturdy. So your mm -hmm. pen pen is really thin and fine. Um, it's a fine point, and so you kind of want to be delicate with it. You don't want to try and rip it or poke it hard because it will break. Yeah. Um, Charlotte's got a bracelet now. <laughs> <laughs> with the uh, with the Caesar weeder, it's a very durable hook, yes. and so you don't have to be as delicate with you it. Don't. And I these are fifteen dollars. Oh, you're on. The I'm on the S. So it's a great tool. Our weeding tools are under tools um, on the website mm -hmm. and tools. Yep, tools, 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 and tools. All right. Yes, so yep. yeah, I got that. So are we overhead? Oh. So if you guys can see, maybe we should bring it up close, like take close it. so they can oh, yeah. see the depth. Can you guys see the dimension, kind of the uh, how it is? Can it's like raised it? lettering. It's raised lettering. Can y'all see that? It has a lot of te like it's very raised, so it's textury. If you like, put your hand. Yeah, in. it's really a good tactile see one. If they could, if I can you see, I can't see the camera. I was gonna see if I did something like this. Yes. Yeah, is that good? More? Mm-hmm. So you can see it's like, I don't remember the mills on it, but it's a good... Yeah, it has dimension. It has dimension, yes. We have a couple more comments that I wasn't okay. able to okay. address. Taryn says, I have placed two orders and have been very satisfied. I'll be hey. placing another order soon. Oh, good. Taryn? Alicia has a question. Wait, so you don't recommend flipping and pressing with regular H2D? No. I don't think there would be a need for that. In fact, I would almost think that it could burn up the adhesive to where your vinyl did not last. And I know a lot of people I see they do that with the Easy Press, and I've never understood why because it now heats. the Easy Press, easy press is different. But okay. but yeah, you don't usually want to heat from behind unless you're trying to remove the vinyl. Yes, that's a good. And point. also, Lisa says, can I use Starcraft instead of Caesar Stretch if I'm using an Easy Press? Starcraft, um, yes, yeah, Softflex for this. No, she's saying just for her Easy Press instead of Stretch because oh, we yeah. don't recommend Stretch with so Easy Press. So we have not tested this out with Softflex for this mm -hmm. embossing design. The mm -hmm. Softflex is Softflex is a little thicker. It's mm -hmm. something that we will definitely try out and see if it yes. gives you the same embossed look. So. The stretch is very thin, and so that's why it works well yep. for this. But that's a great question. You wouldn't be able to do this project if you were on a Cricut Easy Press because we don't recommend you use stretch with your Easy Press. Um, but the StarCraft Softflex could be an option, absolutely. Um, I think that that's something that maybe you could try out for yourself yeah. instead of waiting on Margie and I to do it. Maybe it's something that you could give a whirl and let us know. We can take the sample and try it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to overlay this when we designed, are you overhead? Sure am. When we designed this, I just did an offset of the big circle and so it'll go over it. Yes. And then we're going to press it and stretch. Remember, press is at 320. Make sure there's the same amount yeah. of gap around all of it. It looks like there's more over here than over here. So we'll just do yeah. Stretch presses at 320 for about 20 seconds. Okay, so I have a full finger over here. You don't look, it doesn't look like you have that much over there. So maybe just move it a smidge. Megan asked, is it like flocked? It's it's kind of like flocked, but it's not fuzzy. It's smooth, like um, a leather feel or something almost. So. Yeah. And we have another good. question. Carolyn asked, I have an order for leggings with letters down the side. Do you recommend Cedar Stretch or Starcraft Softlex? Either one. Either one would I work. feel like either one's great. If you're using a heat press, then I would probably recommend Stretch mm -hmm. um, because it has the um, ability to, I don't know, I wouldn't say it that moves it's... More, it lo works better for the Lyrica of the leggings. Yes, yes. And if you're on an easy press, then I would absolutely suggest Softflex because mm -hmm. Stretch will not bond with an easy press. Yeah. So um, I guess that hopefully that helps you troubleshoot which one to go with. Yeah. So we're pressing this at 320. I did 15 seconds because we're going to flip it over yes. again to help. It will help show, excuse me, show that embossing even Yeah, better. it like helps it melt into mm -hmm. it to emboss it even more. We just got, got a couple more viewers. Would y'all like to explain what y'all are doing here? Yes. yes. Ooh, that looks oh my so gosh, cool. This is really cool. Hopefully they can see it. Hopefully they're able right. to see it. So we are doing an embossed shirt with um, Caesar... 
brick, brick and caesar stretch yes y'all caesar is a great product they are so innovative and there are so many yes. um different materials materials that they offer yes. in the htv yes there is so much so we are combining caesar easy weed stretch with caesar brick caesar brick is like oh my gosh how cool um Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, that. so the stretch is a warm or hot peel. Yep, doesn't matter how stinking. Oh cool. my gosh, can y'all see? Can, can they see, see that? that? Man, I would aim a little bit. I can see a little bit, but not much. That looks so good. Can you guys see that? Look can how you cool. see the. It's just a hint of the embossed design. So. It's really cool. So flipping it over and pressing it um, on the back side for this helped it just melt more into the stretch and helped it define the um, yes. the thing, the monogram. Maybe we should walk up close to the front camera. Yeah. Maybe that would help. Yeah. I can uh, go up front and see if this helps. Oh, yes. Good. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. How cool is that? So it's literally like an embossed vinyl, but we just layered the stretch over the brick. So you can use any color of brick and any color of stretch. I just did both navy because I was just doing navy and navy. But you could use, if you have a different color of brick and you want to put a different color of stretch over it, it'll work. It'll cover it. So. Yes. And it looks so cool. It's really cool. And I love that it's just a hint. It's just a hint of it, so people are going to run out, reach out and touch it. Yes, they're going to touch it. We um, have a couple of questions. Sure. Okay, so Alicia asks, why don't you recommend using stretch with the easy press? All right, we get this a lot. Stretch is a two-part deal. You have to heat it at 320 degrees, so for the easy press, you would probably have to do about 350 degrees because most easy presses are 20 to 30 degrees off. Yeah. And then you also have to have very firm pressure, which most people can't get with the easy press. Yes. Like when we do stretch, um, we have a pressing pillow that we use and that helps create, create our pressure, pressure, but it makes it so it's hard to close and then it's tricky to open. If your pressure's not high, guys, your stretch is gonna fall off. I just had a back, back. Oh my gosh. I, I, I had a back flash. Um, we we oh did stretch one day on live and we literally could not get the heat press back open you and cannot. the shirt was like burning under there and it was just like, well, it's so someone had stressed. used it for sublimation earlier and they it had tightened the pressure way, 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 way up and we could not get it open. <laughs> like it was, I was standing up trying to pull it open. We, it was crazy. The part of us were like we were standing on the table mm -hmm. one was holding the thing holding down. It down here at one time i was just under the table hiding letting margie deal yeah, with it she was <laughs> laughing at me under the table while i'm struggling to open it up so, so that's yes, the that's reason fine. why um i get lots of emails and yeah. messages about why is my vinyl falling off my items and it's because the sh it's, you're using stretch yes. and you're not getting enough pressure and heat a lot of people think it's just heat and so if you want to stand on your easy press to create that pressure, it might work. But you could also risk cracking it. You could break it. And breaking press. your I would easy break mine press. if I stood on it. So we yeah. don't recommend it for that reason. It's just pressure based. Yeah. Emily asks, what are the washing instructions? Do you know? For in particular. I, this? Like this? Yes. I'm so sure. I always wash my shirts inside out mm -hmm. and either dry low or I'll hang dry them for a little while or hang dry them. Um, if Actually, you, I have brick on my shirt. Too. I know, so I know. Funny. It's brick on her shirt. But if you dry them on high in your dryer, it's going to lessen the length of your HTV and yeah. it starts to crack. Some of my, I was looking through my shirts the other day and some that are like three or four years old have started to crack and it makes yeah. me sad. But I mean, <laughs> they're three or four years old. So what do you expect? Yeah. <laughs> Cindy says, it's so fun learning new things. You ladies are awesome. Aw, thank, thank you, Cindy. Cindy. This is a really fun thing and this looks awesome on like tea towels. Or yes. it would be really cool on hats, like if you were wanting to do a monogram on a hat, or even like originally I was just going to do a little pocket kind yeah. of monogram, but we wanted to do a big one to for display the here in the store. Yeah, so yeah. people can really get the feel for it. I mm -hmm. think it looks great. I love it. It's really fun. And you can do any color. So, and the cool thing about this is since you're covering up the brick, 
you could buy any color of the brick or maybe you have scraps on hand yeah. and you don't have to even worry about the color that you're using underneath. You just need to make sure that you've got the color that you want on the top. Well, and I saw a cute shirt that was like three different things and each one had, it was the same brick on the bottom, but then each one had a different color of Perfect. stretch on it. So yeah. it was like three pictures, you know. Super so fun. Yes. That would be really fun Talking to about the colors, Ruth Ann asked, would, it, would you see it better with a light color? I don't not necessarily know if it would matter. I know that white would probably show really well. We actually have mm -hmm. a tea towel up front with an Arkansas. Um, it's a, the shape of an Arkansas, and then the words are in brick. It says Arkansas on the inside, and then it's got the white over the top. The shape of the Arkansas over mm -hmm. the top. And so um, I feel like white shows it really well. If you could see this in person, you would... You yeah. wouldn't worry about not seeing it because in person it's it's really good. Yeah, it's hard to get it through the camera, but it's we really cool. We'll that. take a we'll take a good picture to share on yes. Instagram and yeah. Facebook with it. So, what Megan says that's cool. Is this a new product? I've never seen it before. So yeah. it's just something we haven't talked about in a while. So we have so many products, and we try to highlight different products every week. And we just thought, we were trying to decide what to do today and thought we haven't ever done this embossing with the brick and the stretch. So it's been around for a while. Yes. Um, it's really It cool. comes in, brick comes in how many colors? Six. Six or eight. Six or eight colors. Mm -hmm. um, and so you can actually find it under the HTV tab and then go to Caesar and there's a, a box selection that says brick. Caesar brick. Mm -hmm. um, and it then is. you can click on that. We only carry it in one size. So it's a 12 by 20 inch sheet and they cost $4.99 yeah. a piece. So or 499 $5.49. $5 Let me see. We're going to find out the price for you guys. Sorry. Um, no, no, we didn't okay. get our thing typed up today. <laughs> we didn't get our paper typed up, and then we might or might not have people commenting links today. But if we yeah. don't, we are going to make sure and get those links dropped for you after the video. So you can find everything. What? Oh, yeah. Is it? It's, nope, that's a uh, strip block. Oh, I don't, <laughs> we don't have a full sheet over there. It's okay. No, we forgot to bring it. So it's called Brick 600. And it is five forty nine a sheet. Okay, and the bulk buying discount applies. So if you buy fifteen or more sheets, the price will go down. So it's five dollars and forty nine cents for twelve inches by twenty inches. So it's about yay long. It's quite long. It, there are seven colors. We are between six seven. and eight. <laughs> seven colors. Seven colors. So yes. anyway, give it a try. Like Charlotte said, she's got it on her shirt. Yeah, right and it's there. not embossed at all. It's just yeah. You, it's just so just remember. To not, it's not good for intricate things, but it really adds cool dimension to your shirt. Yes, and, and peel cold. If you make mm -hmm. the mistake to peel it too warm, your brick will look melted, and it's not a cute look. No, and it'll it could come off and not have a good um, adhesion. Yes. Before we end, do you want to show the rest of the viewers what it looks like now? Yeah, yeah. for sure. Should we do it up front again? You think? Yeah. Do you think they got a better back. view of it up there? Okay. All right, so this is our embossing with brick and stretch. Shiloh's going to bring it closer. Just making sure you're yeah. It. It's our maize yellow Bella canvas shirt, which we have them in extra small to 3XL. They start at 515. Oh, yeah, there's a good view of the feet. I will it like. Y'all see? Yes. All righty. We'll post a picture in the comments of how cool it was mm -hmm. in the end. I know it's hard to see in the camera. It is. But, but it is very cool. It's very cool. So You guys, be sure to go follow us on TikTok because we are hot over there. And start putting your TikTok handles in on your orders. Yes. In the customer notes section of your orders, if you put your TikTok handle, we are going to choose an order that we highlight once a week um, of us picking and packing and shipping off your order. And we'll tag you in it on yeah. TikTok. Uh -huh. um, so that'd be cool little behind the scenes of watching your order go from process to out the door. <laughs> it's fun. It is. <laughs> um, get free shipping over all orders on fifty dollars or more. That was a that big was mess a of a sentence. Said that very rambly. It was <laughs> very rambly, but you get the idea. Um, and we have so many cool new products, you guys. In case you did not know, we added a resin molds yes. category to our website. So now, if you go to glitter. Uh, epoxy, epoxy glitter and molds. And molds. Uh -huh. It's a it's a category on our website. There's a resin molds category, and we now have some uh, silicone molds yes. on our website, and that's really exciting. So you guys can get into new crafts, and it's another cool way to use our Starcraft loose glitter. 
Um, so be sure to check out our resin molds category. There will be more coming soon in that category. Yeah, we're hoping to expand yes. it. So. Uh, yes, that's exciting. So hopefully you guys can go check that out. And I guess we'll see you all guys later this week. I don't know. Happy crafting. Bye. Bye.